Yeah, man. Pusha T got to calm down, bro. I saw the little video he just did with Arby's. I don't appreciate that. What did he do? He made he made a, a video dishing the fish fillet with Arby's. I'm like, hey, bro, the fish, the fish fillet been feeding the block for years, bro. I just put a video out. Don't do that, bro. This diss song against the fish fillet? Yes. Not the fish fillet. Why the fish fillet in particular? What, like, is it like a fish? You know, meat? You know back to here's meal. <laughs> First of all, Meg, that was our that meal. Was, you like the fish fillet too. You. That is your meal. You love you. You, you, you like the fish fillet too. So don't I love a good fish fillet. You like it? Wow. I haven't had it for a while. I would be liking it the way you like. I used to only eat it when I lived in Thailand years ago because it was weird trying to eat beef over there. But I used to love me a fish fillet. I Listen, ain't ate that since I got back to you. I, I don't care. I don't care. All I'm saying is Popeye's got a pop push your team was out of here. line. He was out of line for for that statement. Okay. He, he, wait, I, I did you say push your T did the ba da ba ba ba? I'm loving it. Yep. Yeah. Him, and, uh, him and Justin Timberlake. <gasps> what? So you go like you got a bag for McDonald's and now you sleeping with the ops for another bag? That's what you're supposed to do. Nah, fuck and all I, that. That little, that I, little Drake beef and shit, that shit was cool, but now you gotta stay within <laughs> your bounds, my boy. He just Don't bring it beef. to the streets. He like beef. He was like, come on, Drake, come on. No, he's agitating Drake. Yeah, he was poking Drake. Now you coming to the streets, my nigga. Now you coming with the real shit. <laughs> and them commercial beats be real. Ask the Verizon guy. That nigga <laughs> went from uh, Sprint to Verizon real quick. I he literally said, oh, got towers. I didn't even know you could do that. I'm going that wasn't against no contracts. He, he, how could you be the same mascot? That's like Flo going to Geico. No, no, there, there's a there's a time frame. So his mm. time frame was up in the contract, which which is why like they made a big deal out of it about him right. switching over. Right, but why wouldn't that character be owned by Verizon? You can't just be like, all right, I'm taking the glasses guy. And well, I mean, they, yeah, they he, can, got, he wears glass like that's who yeah. he is. He wears glass. They can, they can, they can, they can uh, take the proprietary character, like "Can you hit me now?" and all that shit. But they can't take who. He, I mean, he can't change his face. He still got that's why he switched he jackets. That's why he got oh, on yeah. a different jacket. He didn't say, "Can you hear me now?" No, I think he said some derivative of that when he first came back. Yeah. But, but wait a minute though. If if your commercial is about coverage. First of all, what up, y'all? If your commercial is about coverage and it, we find out that we have better coverage than you, but you got a better spokesperson, we need that spokesperson, dog. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, like, he got a good message. Can you hear me now? No, nobody can hear y'all now. But over That's here, you know true. what I'm saying? It's That's like, not true, though. You can't, you can't just bring the, the chihuahua to Del Taco and him being like, Oh, yo, Kiero Del Taco, like that's but, but, that, but that's different because that's their mascot. If they do the if they do the Del Bell Taco Challenge, for example, if you like race for pinks, you race and you lose your car. You race for the pink slip, so like y'all race and whoever loses loses their whole car. It's like yeah, if you do the Del Bell Taco Challenge for the dog, it'll be the Del Taco Bell Challenge. I didn't follow any of that actually. There's a. There's a <laughs> The main thing is that all of these companies be saying they're the best and they got the best coverage. I, I ain't seen none of this data. They throw some little map right. up there of the United States and they got this coverage in places like <laughs> fucking South Dakota and shit like that. What am I fucking, nobody give a fuck if my phone work in Montana, nigga. If I'm in Montana, I don't want my phone to work, my nigga. That's why I'm in Montana. Montana though. And now you mad <laughs> at them. Right, you, like about them all... I'm getting all my phone calls, all my emails, all my texts, and I'm in Montana, like in the backwoods. I'm nigga, I'm I'm fired up, bro. That's hilarious. What the fuck, bro? That map was not. <laughs> they just showed us that just to give us extra seconds of the commercial. It was just like, look at yeah. this pink map of America, and it's like, Man, like that shit could have been <laughs> all the radiation in America, or where the radiation is lying the most in America. I don't know what the fuck that map represents. That's hilarious. Well, that's all the five G towers. With trash that. coochie. That's what the map represent. All the five G towers taking down pigeons and shit. Man, that shit represent <laughs> all the chicks with mid coochie. It's like you go to this this region right here, you guarantee some mid. The Give me that. Don't be straight, but the coochie gonna be mid as fuck. Give me that map. <laughs> like man, there is a shortage in New Mexico. I'm just kidding. I don't know anything about New Mexico. I, was just like, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never heard nobody say I went to New Mexico. I saw some bad bitches, though. I ain't never heard. Like, 
I know people that went to school in New Mexico. Tony went to, to, to New Mexico State. I ain't never heard say, hey, You are digging yourself there? a hole, brother. New Mexico women like, really? Somebody right in there with a tortilla on the stove raw. Like, really? <laughs> tortilla? Uh, you, you had yeah, a what is capital it, L at the end of that. I'm from Detroit, man. It sounds like a tortilla. That's what we used to tell her at Taco Bell, and they would give it to us. We know there's, no L's? Is... there's no L's in tortilla. Like yeah, there is. There's no L's. But nobody's wow. saying so that. So now L's who's wrong? Like nobody's like tortilla. This is you say it right. You don't know how to spell it. Damn, Lou. Nobody's Definitely saying L's. The L's. Lou, no, Lou, 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 no, Lula was right. What is it? What is a double L called? It's a whole different letter when it's two L's. It's still what? two L's. It's two yeah, L's. L's. And you L's can't when it's two L's. Nobody's ever said, yo, let me get a tortilla. No. The nigga right here just said that. Terrible. Lou, we were about to attack CP. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> you said there ain't Lulu, even an L in Lulu this. Lulu has like seven L's in her name. Talk about, ain't no L in that. <laughs> <laughs> your, name is, your, your name is Yu Yu. Yu Yu. Yu Yu. Yu Yu. I know how to Where's say it, Yu Yu. <laughs> See how I weaseled out of that one, you you thanks a lot. Yeah. Cordelia? <laughs> Y'all crazy. What's that, Lulu? A water Lulu. What is that? Beer, sparkling right? Water. Oh, it's sparkling, sparkling water. Uh, I thought that, that looks very water, bougie Lou. for a sparkling water can, Lou. You sure it's just water? It is. It's grapefruit water. Ooh, that okay. looks yummy. Hey, Waterloo, if y'all want to endorse a bitch, come on. They don't. <laughs> Not Pat, where you, Pat, where are you at today? I'm. This is where I'm gonna be. This is my new place. Why are you always moving? You got stalkers? Um, it's fun. <laughs> Change the scenery. Yo, are you like? Pet, I feel like you're like on the low for real. I feel like he's like really homeless, and you just be going wherever. Like whoever will take you for the week, like you house it or something. There's a roof right here. Let me tell you. I know, but I'm saying this is you always like you're not this even is, like moving. Like oh, my lease is a year, and then I'll move. Like you be moving like every three months. This let me do that when you're not pregnant, Meg. Relax. Like he's moving around. You know what I'm saying? Like goddamn. Like you're the one. No, I'm saying table. no. Relax. He, Pat has been. Mo- you don't understand. Pat has been doing this for years. Pat and is I'm like, seventeen. Pat- Leave Pat alone. Like Pat. Listen. Is- let me tell y'all who Pat is. Y'all, y'all seen Big Hero Six? You ever seen Big Hero Six? Yes. Pat is Fred from Big Hero Six. Like, cool <laughs> oh, yeah, with everybody, yeah, yeah, yeah. comes up with great nicknames, completely aloof in certain situations, and then takes you back to his crib. This nigga has a moat. You're like, why do you have a fucking lake around your house? <laughs> what? Wait, Big Hero, that's the one with the big fluffy white character, right? Yeah, yeah. I heard that was sad and it makes you cry, so I didn't watch it. <laughs> it's a good movie, watch it. It's a good movie. It's a Big good movie. Watch it. It's about your life, Pat. Yeah, it's, 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 legit, it's legit as fuck, though. It's legit as fuck. They did a good job, though. I didn't cry. Almost? I felt a little something. It was a little something, though, but I didn't cry. <laughs> hey, I was like, it was like, like if, they, if they had stretched that scene out two more minutes, they would have pulled something out of a real nigga. <laughs> but they ended it at the right time, so I was able to, like, thug it up. Hold on. What have y'all cried for, though? I was just about to say, no lying, because I low-key, um... Oh, I'm nigga. Up, I'm gonna up tell almost you, got me. Up almost got me. I almost didn't watch it because of how sad. No, that didn't get me. Um, no, either. Best Man Holiday. Really? Mm. Mm. I was like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> oh man. I might have shed a tear. I think so. Oh, I, I, made I, me water up. I watered it up. Me to die? Oh man. He tried um, to make that last touchdown and his legs were looking way too little to be an NFL player. I'm like, oh, why are they doing this? Why are they, why are they, why are they overdoing it? Like they could have got niggas his size. They got uh, real players. The nigga legs. Uh, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm like, oh man. I cried on Lion King. I cried on Fresh. Cried on Lion King. Lion King never got me even. Oh as a kid. nigga, Lion King. Mufasa was the father that all Lion niggas King. in the hood right. wish they had. So we all like in the first ten minutes of the Lion King, nigga, every nigga without a real daddy looked at Mufasa like a real daddy, and he nah, got just killed. a lion. He was just a lion because I had a dad. But listen, like <laughs> I said, all niggas who didn't have a dad. Everybody that didn't have a dad, you had a okay, dad. Well I, well, I don't know how that. You felt. got tucked so in, listen, CP. 
You got tucked in. Only child syndrome, nigga. You had a father. No, they were no, 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 no. They was they was across town, so I had I had two two realities. But I mean, I knew him. But, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Like, I wasn't like I wasn't like he was absentee. But here's the thing, though. Lion King had too many jamming ass songs to keep me in my feelings for too long. Yeah. Right when Mufasa died, we just came out of um uh scars of be prepared. I love that shit. That the yeah, but I mean, like, can't wait to be king. But it, it just can't wait to be king, right? Yeah, but still though, man, it, it was a it was a hard turn. <laughs> Disney never lets us down. This is a perfect place for us to go ahead and jump right into it. Uh before we do, we got special guest Lulu Gonzalez in the house. Bah, 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 bah. Lulu we got Gonzalez. The OG, OG squad, we got Mad Scoop, CP, Patrick Cloud, and of course, I'm to hear more. And we're gonna jump into the first topic right after this. Who wants better sex? Hmm? The best way to get started is to go to adamandeve.com right now. Adam and Eve is offering 50% off just about any item. But that's not all. When you get one item, they will also send three bonus sexy items and six free movies. Come on, y'all. Ain't nothing better than that. More than that, Adam and Eve wants to make your life easy. They offer discreet shipping as your privacy is a priority. Plus, Free shipping on your entire order. All of it, baby. Doesn't matter how much you spend or what you buy. All will be packaged and sent discreetly for free. That's 50% off one item and 10 free gifts to boot. Bring pleasure and satisfaction into the bedroom. Just go to adamandeve.com and select any one item. It could be an adventurous new toy or anything you desire. Just enter the offer code squad at checkout and you'll get 50% off almost any item plus 10 free gifts, three bonus items, six free movies and free shipping. Just use the offer code squad. Okay. That's squad S Q U A D D at Adam and This exclusive offer is specific to this podcast only, all right? So be sure to use this code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, to get you not just the discount and the free goodies, but also 100% free shipping. Use that code SQUAD, baby. First topic is, would you rather hook up with a stranger or hook up with your least favorite ex? Oh, this is easy. Stranger. Stranger. Yeah, stranger off top. Wait, hold on. Stranger as in you don't know it, like you don't know them. They're not even cute. They're stranger as in when you first meet a person and then now you know them. Like what the fuck? Is it like everybody's a stranger until you say hi, how you doing? I'm you, I'm me, you're you. And they could be yeah. cute. Why can't they be cute? What why can't they be ugly? That's what I'm saying. So y'all just saying, well, what yes, saying ugly? Why would I pick an ugly stranger? I mean, he said my ex is my ex because I ain't like her attitude, but that 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 dome or that box was superior. It was top tier. Your least favorite? Yeah, but here go the yes. thing. Here go the thing. Here go the thing. We're talking about right now. Like, I'm, nigga, married. So an ex looks premeditated, right? Yeah. Versus somebody else. That's like, that's 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 less of a conversation. That's like, oops, you know, instead no, of... Yeah. Yeah. That is true. That is true. But it's a lot of unknown variables with that stranger. Is it going to get? Is it gonna give you that, that wet, wet feeling that you want? Is it going to smell a type Here's of way? Here's the thing. I'm is, forced into this. Is, good, is, is she good? So, I had to pick one. It's not like I'm like, yeah, let yeah, me get the best. You know what I'm saying? It's like, well, you got to do what you got to do. I mean, you don't know what's going on with your ex. She might have a horrible pH balance now. You don't know what's going on in her life. She might be eating raggedy, gaining nah, a couple nah, in the wrong nah, place. Nah, nah, you nah. don't know her life. She, she keeps herself know. up. I can't see her doing that like that. I mean, that would be like somebody saying, I, I'm, I'm out here, She man. keeps herself up, though. Like, she is now a stranger, too. As far as like that goes. That's a loophole. Don't try to get in the loophole. Like, now nah, she is be good for a loophole. <laughs> no, I'm saying, like, I mean, if you think about it, like, you're not as familiar with an ex as you, you, you know what I'm saying? You know, yeah, but you've been inside, you've been inside that person have... or vice versa. They've been inside you. So. Yeah. You have it's a spank not, bank like of an ex. Stranger. You know what you've had with an ex. You don't know what's in the future with a stranger, but that's the fun part. Let me get some excited. It might be better it's, than the it ex. It might like, be the fun part, but what if like, what if your stranger is hella unexperienced? What if they were in a, a, a 10 year relationship and they, they didn't have sex until like the, the ninth year and they only had- Or they have time. HIV. Oh my <laughs> like, God. Man. 
Can we mute I, Atlanta, they, please? Jesus Christ, no, the point Atlanta. Is you don't know nothing about them. There's like you don't know anything. Like, well, can we get can we get diseases and shit out of here? It's yeah, a, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's a stranger. It's a like, stranger. Meg, so imagine you don't die right. and this happens. Now what? Yeah. Like, Meg, well, I mean, oh, so they have astigmatism. I'm kind of with Pat, like it's a stranger. So I mean, I automatically assume everybody's oh, gonna use condoms anyway. Yeah. But y'all are talking but, like, but still, I don't care. I don't, I don't care. Like that's still scary. All I'm right, just saying, you, you at least with like somebody that's your ex, you know baseline what to expect, right? There could have got change. AIDS last year. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You're right. That's true. They but, might not even know they got it. Yeah. I, well, I thought it was like based on what you last knew of them. So is that's not the case? I mean, it could be. You last last you knew they were a pretty clean person. <laughs> Shit, there, there there are hundreds of people who are pretty clean to still con- contract or something. That don't that don't necessarily mean that you out here just fucking any and everything raw. So I mean, I okay, so we're saying no d- diseases aside, no diseases and and no marriage too. Like I don't think that should be a part of this. It should just okay. be ex yeah. or or smashing a stranger. But I feel like what we're not talking about is after the smash. Like after the smash, it doesn't matter if the stranger's trash or not. You can just be like, all right, well. <laughs> But I mean, the ex, you going, you signing up for a whole bunch of problems. Wait, un- uh, no, unless you, it's a stranger that's like uh, a stalkery. That's just like, oh my gosh, you're the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you. Why, why do you always go there? Why do you? Here's what I'm saying, because y'all, I'm so negative. it's a variable. Y'all act like that's not something that can happen. And you act like your ex can't stalk you too. Yeah, but, but, I'm, just... but I'm saying you, but you know, like, you know, if your ex is a stalker, right? You know, imagine, basically, if your ex is a stalker. But just imagine the negativity that you've escaped from escaping <laughs> an ex. And it's like, now you put yourself, why? I'm just playing devil's advocate because y'all over here making it, y'all just easily was like, stranger. But I'm like, wait well, a minute. I, mean, I wasn't going to go stranger. I was going to go fucking ex. stranger tonight. What you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Let <Jesus>. me live. <laughs> Throwing out all the stuff that can happen. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. In this scenario, are we us right now or are we single? Because that makes single. Single. Are you single? single? You're single. You're single in this scenario. Oh, well then I go with an ex then. (laughs) (laughs) Why? Because it's like yeah, because I you know what I'm saying like that's just like that's that's a a bigger conversation. So Meg, imagine like or to hear. Right, because we the only ones who are not single. Imagine, you know, what I'm saying, like, you know, your ex, you you know, your wife know who your ex is, and it's like, dog, that's like a way deeper kind of like, oh my, you know, what I'm saying, Meg. So you could tell me your dude right now gonna be like, you know, what I'm saying, no, no, like, I see what you're. No, I agree with you a hundred percent. But that's why I'm yeah. like, that's why we got to be single in this scenario. I, yeah. I would be, I would be single, and I would go with an ex because the ex, yeah. I already know what she is okay with in the bedroom. Like we don't have to build up to their okay. We're comfortable with each other's sex. You oh, can do true. this. You can do that. I'll do this. I'll. You would you, you with somebody that already knows your history. You like you know I like to pee on bitches boring. in the shower. We ain't gotta. I, we ain't gotta. We ain't got <laughs> boring. I love Figure all the people. I love all the people, people in the relationship shower. Ain't boring, like, Pat. Don't knock it to you. Y'all, try it. y'all got some shit y'all need to work out because all the people in relationships like I go with the ex. I go back in time. I like, didn't tell uh, you what I would go no, with. Actually. We just, we just, I just said, little <laughs> shit. See, wait a minute. Ex. See, how you gonna make giving, me clarify it? And Lulu then Lulu be like, giving oh. it all up to the strangers on the first night. They let me know. Lulu let them put it in a butt on the first night. Lulu, the butt. That's not true. She does the FaceTime. Right. She does the FaceTime date first. She just said that. Right. Lulu's like her FaceTime date. You do a date FaceTime date first. You can put it in your butt. And then you go put it in the back. Uh, that sounds like a glory hole audition on the FaceTime. Uh, so right. Okay. So this is you? This is you? Okay. And then right in the hole? Perfect. Got that. <laughs> Why Got you think that. I always pick, I always pick like athletic first dates or something like that. So he could wear like gray sweats and stuff like that. So I could, you know, just check out the goods. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and me, like, what? Lulu be like, I want to kind of do something physical on the first day. Nick be like, let's go bowling. <laughs> <laughs> you trying to go hiking? Nigga have a heart attack. Like, oh, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> like, I want a dinner. You know, Sam will be having a fucking asthma attack on Runyon because this is when I see my goddamn bull. It's like, oh, come on, man. You do that on the first day, Lou? You have people, n- niggas sweating? Yeah, why not? 
first? Oh, that's fine. He'd be like, first yeah. date, hooping at the Y. And then she beat the nigga, be like, I'm straight, I'm good. Like That happened to me on a date. I went to Dave and Buster's with a dude and we played ball and I won like six games in a row. And then they kept giving me free games and the date was over. I was turned off after that. I mean, I mean, don't be turned off. You're just better with balls than he is. That's all that mean. That should have turned you on, <laughs> if anything. You're a yeah, wizard uh, with the balls. You we'd are, have had to run six more. Fuck, ball you can't beat a nigga on a date. Like, nah. <laughs> 50 Wait, you really, you really stopped talking to him because you beat him in basketball? No, it was the fact that it was the, like, I told, I was first of all, I was dressed all cute. I had like a full body suit on with some heels. And we were supposed to go out. Suit. And he was like, oh, I, he's a ball player. And I was like, you know, I used to hoop. He's like, oh, I hooped overseas and da, da, da. I was like, that's cool. And he was like, we're going to get some drinks. Well, first let's go to Dave and Buster's and let me see what your, your game is like. And I told him I was cute. And I was like, I don't feel like hooping right now. Oh, it was his I idea. Heels. I had on heels. I was like, I don't feel like hooping right now. And we, he still took me to Dave and Buster's. And I was like, okay. We played three games and I won. He was like, oh, I think my machine was busted. Let's go <laughs> to the other one. And we went to the other one and now I'm mad and I'm sweating and I killed him like six games in a row and they gave me three games and he was mad. He's like, oh, I think you, you just had a, a better machine than me. So nigga, then I'm like, yo, nigga, you can't just give me the win? So they told nigga, me, nigga came and Lulu was like, let's play for your heart. And Lulu <laughs> bust this nigga ass, bro. She said, I'll be the heart, 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 nigga. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's embarrassing. I, I guarantee you, none of his homeboys know about that date. At no. all. What's his name, girl? Put him out there. Damn, Damn Meg. Man. Chill out, <laughs> Meg. Man. You are just, you just. Meg, messy as fuck. She ain't used to be this Re messy at first. Listen, uh, it's, this, it, it, it's this baby in her. She got a little messy little baby. Baby, like, mm hmm, grandma. <laughs> Listen, that's a piece of food. Because food told me, because I used to bust food's mm -hmm. ass in ping pong. And fool used to be like, this is why you ain't getting no second dates with niggas, because you don't know how to let niggas win. So Shout out to my you gotta fool. stroke them egos, stroke the shaft and the ego. That's rule number 16. Wow. In the male handbook. You know I'm saying? dope too, nigga. Fuck that. No. Tell I got me. an advantage. I, I my ego nigga, too. Women already know I'm about to lose at basketball, so there's no <laughs> basketball, foosball, what other ball? Your ball. The Soccer, ball. lacrosse. If anything, if I win, I get the puss. <laughs> you're like, hey, you're like, you'd be great at frisbee, though. Like, <laughs> you're like, nice oh, little man. hacky sack, <laughs> nigga, hacky sacking in the club. Like, yeah, so please <laughs> pack. <laughs> okay, okay let's pack. hacky sack for pack. my heart. Pack get upset. He'd be like, all right, well, bitch, let's write a song. How about that? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> There's a campfire in the parking lot. You want to do this? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see who, let's see who is is the messiest bitch. So let me see what your retweets look like. Yeah, <laughs> I invited all this. That's crazy. I started it. I started all of it. <laughs> on that note, I'm still going with the next. I mean, with the stranger. You still going with the stranger? All right, cool. Give me that stranger danger. I feel like Lulu wants a stranger so she could do some wild shit. Like, I feel like all of Lulu's exes got fucked by her. They didn't really fuck her. And now that they know that she be doing the fucking, they be like, I ain't going back to that scenario. She busts this nigga ass six games of basketball. You best believe she had that nigga legs up. The back of his ankles got ceiling blade chips on it. She had that nigga ankles high as fuck in the ceiling. And that nigga like, I ain't going back to that. So of course she got to go to a stranger. She be all seductive and seeming delicate. And then she closed the bedroom door and she put on army fatigue thongs. <laughs> the shit out of niggas while she busting in the air. No. I ain't gonna oh, lie to army fatigue. Army fatigue. Uh, I, can... <laughs> I do, I do she actually do it. Hold on. She I actually do a joke about store. that. You say what? I do a joke about that because I had like a camouflage uh, lingerie. Yeah, a little Desert Storm <laughs> set. You you know know a desert Storm bucket hat on and some Tim's. Yeah, yeah I like because like cross her back. <laughs> It's like hey, sometimes hey. you can see the pussy and sometimes you don't. I like it. Where the pussy go? That's funny. And it's kind of sexy until she goes full army. She'll be like, yeah. 10, 4, 1, 2, 2, she goes on the side. He's like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know what you can man. go. <laughs> what are we going with? Stranger or ex? What are we going with right now? Wait, is it, it's your worst ex ever? Uh, your least favorite ex is what it said. Is that? Yeah, I'm going to go stranger oh, too. <laughs> All right. Pat, what you doing? 
Stranger. I don't even have any bad X's, but Stranger, let's 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 move All on. Right. I'm gonna go X. CP, what you going with? Stranger, man. I forgot it was the worst one. What have I done? I don't like putting myself through uh knowing stress. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm good. I'm gonna pretend like I'm deaf. I'm gonna write down notes, everything I want to say to this bitch. Get the pussy in the mouth. Uh <laughs> Lulu, what you got? Stranger. Stranger. All right, well, fuck y'all. Man. She would check your story and see you talking. Like, bro, you <laughs> You have a you have a show this this week. I'm gonna block her, nigga. <laughs> it's just a smash and dash. I'm she gonna be blocked on the socials. What did you say? Anyway, let's jump into this next topic right after this. Watch your favorite artist step on the court in season three of the Crew League. From executive producers Sean Diddy Combs and Chris Brown, this fast-paced original series showcases hip hop's biggest stars and their crews competing on the hardwood to win a $200,000 cash prize, 200 G's, baby. Watch Chris Brown, Anuel, Tusi, NL Lee Chopper, G Erbo, YK Osiris, and more battle it out for the chip. The rosters are bigger and better than ever with the heated rivalries and stars seeking revenge from falling short. They gotta get it in, baby. See who makes the finals and who gets sent home. Only one team will walk away on top with your host Aiden Ross and Buster Schuer providing the play-by-play -play and sideline reporting from the Gorilla Nims there's enough entertainment and excitement and surprises to keep you on the edge of your screen big time moments call for big time players find out which rapper turned hooper is really calling the shots stream episodes of the crew league season three exclusively on the revolt app youtube and watchrevolt.com Follow at Revolt on Instagram and TikTok for exclusive content and behind the scenes clips. Would you rather eat a raw onion like an apple every day versus never eat cheese again? Mm. Demonic. That is a demonic choice. That's tough. How do you come up with this shit, bro? Like, what do you be doing? They'd be like, you know, I like cheese. <laughs> <laughs> hey, onions listen, are low key good. Though, when we went to go, we did pull up the, the food show on the uh, on Kevin Stage app. We went to Angel's hometown in Baltimore, and they do pickled onions, and they eat the motherfuckers like apples. Oh, wow. Like, they put it in the same, like, a big-ass pickle jar, and the shit smells horrible, and you can, like, bite into it like that, or you can literally, like, like just peel back the, the layers of the onion. Motherfuckers eat that shit like an apple. Pickled what is or it seasoned raw? Seasoned with raw. It's seasoned with pickle juice and whatever they pickle pickles with. With what that shit is pickled uh, vinegar. vinegar. Yeah. Vinegar. I ain't gonna hold you. Shit wasn't bad. It's yeah, an acquired yeah. taste, but the shit wasn't horrible. You mean like so cheese like on pizzas and everything. every kind Aye. of cheese, mozzarella, feta, cheddar, what mozzarella. mild cheddar, sharp oh, cheddar. Better. That's a new a new strain of cheese. Mozzarella. <laughs> I said mozzarella. I said, you did not say mozzarella. <laughs> See, yes, I did. Yeah. Run the tape back. You said mozzarella. Hey, right. Shut your <laughs> pregnant ass up. You can't hear nothing right. You hear it for two. I mean, <laughs> I'm a New York girl who loves pizza. I can't give up. I mean, cheese. I can't. But like then wait. So then you would rather eat an onion every single day? I mean, they healthy kind of sort of. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. Say, first of all, if you pledged, Meg, we didn't have to do the onion. Oh, word, she. I'm gonna tell you something. Look at, look at Pat. You had to do that already, CP. Are you eating the oh, onion right is. now? It can't be that bad. Shia LaBeouf did it every hope. single day. Every single day, you're gonna eat that. Listen, first it's of all, I, we I I ate a raw one, and this is off the record. Maybe this happened. Maybe this didn't happen. And I remember <laughs> one time. I'm an ace club. It was a, it was 11 of us. And so maybe my dean was walking by me and making sure I bit mine and then went to the next guy. And so I bit my shit and I threw it behind my back all the way down behind my tail dog. And then when he saw it on the ground behind him, he whipped his ass and I got off. Anyway, you but his ass? You ain't oh, shit. You did all that for, you did all that to get into your friend? No, not at all. Allegedly, um, that's messed up. You supposed to be one line, and you over here did that to your line. One line, line one. Side. It was a a hey, 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 man. Anyway, so uh, it's you gotta be smart. You gotta be smart. He should have did it behind a bad path, like I did. Bam, no. Take look. a big bite, Pat. A big bite. 
Gross. Bro, it's not good. But to hear said they got them pickled, I would definitely do the pickle. Can you fry yeah. it? What if I fried it? Right. A whole No, onion. he said you gotta that bite it a like an onion. It. it didn't say raw onion, it said a blooming. I can he do a said you onion. have to eat it like an apple. Yeah, you I gotta bite it, but I mean like an, like an apple. You can slice that bitch up. People eat apples all type of ways. You can have it dried, all that type of stuff. Look Wait, bad. so Look it bad. doesn't have to be like a raw onion, like a raw apple. Well, I'm gonna season that bitch, put it in a frying pan. It's supposed to be like a raw apple. Man. One onion day. Like That's apple. what I'm saying, y'all. No, y'all over here trying to change it up now, just like I tried it's to change it last time. We changed he up just literally said, every no fucking cheese. scenario. No he, cheese. This he, this will never ever ever happen ever. How, how ever. big was your bite? No, you no, you have to choose. Wait, you and that's a red onion too. Yeah, First no, all, it's either you can fry it. He, he, you gotta he be able to the fry apple. It. I mean, eat the onion like it, like an apple every day, and he can have. You can't cheese. fry it. You can't do none or, of that. You just gotta yeah. eat it. I fry my apple all the time. Yes, you, you, you are. You are you just said, look. To here just said you gotta eat it like it's supposed to be a raw apple. You gotta Listen, eat it like a yeah, raw I onion. Think, I think. I think initially you have to do it like a raw apple, right? You can eat but, apple, pizza. but. There, there, there are apple slices and pies. There's apple slices and 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 multiple things you learn how to cook it. So, you know what I'm saying? Hey, man, if you eating the raw, if you eating the, even eating it pickled, and you eating one every day, I applaud you. Cause I'm gonna tell you what, piece of my favorite food in the fucking world. I don't think I'll be able to do it. Oh. I don't think I, I think I have to let go of dairy. Wait, is this only know. like real cheese, or is it like fake cheese too, like da- non dairy? No cheese, man. You can't do it. We can't cheat it with the vegan cheese. None of that. No you whole just, head cheese. Nothing. That ain't cheese. It don't matter. It's supposed to be. It's moonlighting the cheese. That's what it check on this voter ballot. Moonlighting. Oh, no way. Oh, I, here's the thing. We ain't really supposed to even be eating cheese, technically. Because cheese looks like a lot of mucus and bacteria in your body. Yep. It's, it's, it's yeah. actually very inflammatory, too, Pat. That's why we're not really supposed to have it. Like, it, it inflames mm-hmm. our uh, breathing passage as well. And it, like she says, it creates the mucus. And it, it makes it worse when you're having an asthma attack or when your asthma's flaring up, rather. Oh, because wow. it's, it's so inflammatory and it creates so so much mucus. If you're already having a different time, difficult time breathing, and you're eating a lot of dairy, it's creating more mucus in your chest, which is you, mixing with that with the, with the asthma and just making it harder for you. Do you and for women, you think you have your shit all packeted in your stomach and shit? Pat don't care. He over here eating my child's snack. Oh, applesauce. Why do you have it? Why do you have an applesauce packet oh, as a grown man with man. no kids? So That's delicious. not a child snack. That's technology. It's no longer a spoon needed. Right? Oh my gosh, Pat, you are too old. Why do you have those? Actually, I like I'm about to go get some of those. Yeah. those are Pat is Pat. That's no. Lit. These I are children's snacks. I like applesauce too. Why can't I have? Apple I do sauce? too. Get it in the cup. No, oh, yeah. fuck that. Oh, Pat, 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 have you had the strawberry ones? The strawberry ones like those? Strawberry applesauce. Yes, yes. in those packs, in the in the uh man, that's Ooh, it. Go yeah, strawberry. Yeah. They got strawberry, they banana, and that's cinnamon like, apple sauce. Man, man, you don't want grown people to eat crustables. Either. Banana, crustables banana is amazing. Apple. What are you talking about, girl? Man, Meg don't want you to eat crustables either. That's what she's they saying. Got whole wheat. Whole Listen, wheat. it's called uncrustables. Yeah, I don't even know the name of it. Uncrustables. Whole wheat ones. Who do you think the whole wheat ones is for? First of all, I don't believe shit. I just do that. I just do that. Meg is a snack villain. She over there checking the, uh, all of the sales for uh, Uncrustables. Like, yes, they're all funneling towards me. No one else can get Uncrustables. You little evil snacker. I don't. I don't believe nothing you Let say. Let me tell you, no, Uncrustables are fire. You don't, you don't want it. You don't want to snack at Meg's house. Her Uncrustables are made with seaweed. It's got peanut butter and jelly on seaweed. It's the nastiest <laughs> shit you ever had. That sounds fire. Up. Hold on. Do y'all put your Uncrustables in a toaster? Yes. Yes. Uh-huh. You have you gotta like, let it thaw you, off first, though. You gotta let it thaw off first before you throw it in the in the in the. Wait, what is it? Well, do? I usually, it makes it warm on the inside, like gooey on the inside. Yeah, yes, it's, it's perfect. I love after. Warm peanut butter and jelly. It's it's crazy to all the smokers on here. No, exactly what that's what that's one of like the top five smoker snacks is uh, uncrustable in the toaster, flat out. Oh, I have out. to try that now. Five followed by pussy. Low keto Trader Joe got those little peanut butter and jelly little snacks. They like little, like little Rolo 
Like oh, the ones that can't be having on the table. Yeah, that at the same. I don't like oh, those. Oh yeah, oh, the right. peanut butter and jelly ones. Oh, those you know what? Fire. Fire. It could be a better jelly though. That raspberry jelly is like with eh, the seeds me, in it. It's yeah, a healthy girl, jelly. Give me a better it's jelly. Trader Joe's. They trying to give you something healthy. Right. They could have just strawberry. strawberry. Yeah, the strawberry jelly would go crazy. Right. They had to do yeah. raspberry jelly. That raspberry wow. shit. Was right. like raspberry. Oh, shut right. up, man. Don't act like you like cool you stuff. Shut right. up to here. You got this mm-hmm. nice setup that you got on Amazon Prime and you so excited. Now you want to talk about everybody. Yes, nigga. I'm just That's jealous. exactly it's what really it is. really nice, by the way. Your camera's really nice. So your camera is fire. <laughs> yeah, you get? Nice. <laughs> What'd you get, Tier? I this is the same shit I had when I when I saw the zoom in last year. I was just that same cameras that can in uh, EOS or Mike's new too. No, same Mike. It's just, it's just, just some mic. It's got the arm. Yeah, what'd you do there? What'd you? I just got, I got a new desk though. I got a new desk, and I got a, I redid the room, so I got like the shoes are in those clear boxes. Oh yeah. See it, but, nice. So it's like a mirror, and then yeah, just I just redecorated. It looks so really good to hear. I like how modest nice. you are, man. At the same time, very proud of it. At the same time, I just did that. I'm very man. proud. I mean, like you I see that in the back right there? Those are like all the generations of iPods, and I kept them and I just made art out what? of them. Oh, that's dope. Oh, that's dope. Cool. You I'm gotta adjust the that. lighting a little bit so we can see it better. Oh, that's dope. Mm. That reflection's gonna gonna mess with mess with it. That's oh. dope. Oh, that's dope. That's What's on them? All of your about to say, is it any audio recipes? <laughs> what? Audio recipes. Is As all your meatloaf audio recipes are on there. <laughs> <laughs> I missed the meatloaf part. What you? What's on there? Wait, do those like if you could hook them up, they would still work? Uh, no. Uh, well, three of them would. I should got seven volumes the of Matt King Cole. Was horrible. <laughs> huh? Fat I hated the iPod Shuffle. You can't see <laughs> shit that's playing. Right. And, and it was small as fuck. But that was just like for running, though. Like, that was. Yeah, I lost that joint when yeah, I was running. That was really just for running. I think that's what happened to mine. I think I uh, left it on my, my shorts one time and I washed the shorts. And that's what happened to it. So you had them on your workout shorts? Yeah, I was running. That was the only thing I used to run. Hey, mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of missed the iPod Shuffle, especially what they got the STEM player now. Remember that little, that little, little, I used to love how I used to feel a little iPod shuffle. shuffle. I hated that yeah. shit, man. Too small. Yeah, too small. I don't know. I ain't, I ain't really big into the stem play either. I, I don't, I just don't see the need for it. I mean, DJs and music lovers like that, producers, I can see this though, but like just regular people, I don't see what the. It's fun. I mean, it's fun. Yeah. That just, I don't even know what that is. Exist. Something what is like it? that just should exist anyway. Mm-hmm. What's the stem player? Kanye's new thing where he can, you you basically upload all the stems, which is basically every individual track um, bounced out individually instead of all together so that you can separate them on the machine. So you can take out the beat, you can take out the vocals, you can take out a sample and you can kind of like remix the song as you hear it. And record it. So oh. you save it for how you want to do it, which is just cool, man. I think that Sorry, that's- too much. So, I'm not, I just want to listen to music. Like I ain't trying to produce. But something like that is going to spark another mind to kind of push the generation forward. Like that being available for these kids to just play with and mm-hmm. learn and love music. That's like, oh, that's just fucking Yeah, that's cool. great. I just want to hear wish you, were, you ever wish you, you could just be 10 again, just so you could make sure that you're going to be around for all the dopest shit that's coming out? Like, Man. <laughs> um, Can you imagine somebody like, like that used to have to, people that used to watch the radio, that you, you listen to a fight a boxing match by radio. They I, don't think that's, I don't think that's watching it though. No, that's what they yeah. used to call it. They, they used to, they, 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 they sit around the radio and they kind of look Nobody at called it that to hear. I don't think, I think, I think, I think we've you always, around there. You I think around we've there. always, you was not either. Your friend was, was my grandfather. My grandfather was, was, was here. Father. Sir, my father was really vocal. He was like, we used to watch the radio. He here is 63. He was but there. It's, uh, to hear, it's always been listened to the radio. Nobody has ever said watch. But no, the but they did say they used to sit around and literally just stare at the glow of the the radio and just sit there and that watch it. Boring. No, I, that's they even though that we have a, when we were in Atlanta. That's what, yeah, that's what yeah, that they, told us. Yeah. That's looking at the radio. That's not watching the radio. He, watching he used the term, looking he used at watching the, watch the same the radio. thing. He used that term. Thing. Listen, man, I'm going off of what the brother told us in Atlanta, who was older than me and Lulu put together. All right, this is what that was. That's his term. That's what he, he told us. Could have been the dumbest nigga. That's that age. <laughs> 
I can see why they would call it that because you're trying to imagine it, but also that's boring if the, the thing you look right. for. But if you had did. nothing to compare it to, then that was amazing. Right. Yeah, but an audio baseball game? Hell no. Nah. I'm saying because there's you have a lot to of people that it. listen to baseball by radio, though. There's a lot of people. Still yeah, to this day, that's, that's how, that's that how the sports are. I think that, that was just got so the channels on, uh, on XM radio. That was good. All the families was like, hey guys, eight o'clock. All of us are gathering around the radio to watch it. And yeah, then the same they thing for two hours. Get the ball. Get the running. That shit is I ain't gonna lie. Now. Back then, if you was a kid that could dance, I could imagine you would be get in here, do that one dance. You have to do that all oh, night man. long. Just like that's uh, good. My mom used to do that, and I wasn't even born back then. When I yeah, used to you had do the little baby hips. my head. You had the little baby hips, huh? You was <laughs> you was uh Bob Bob the Stallion. You <laughs> <laughs> was a hula hoop king. <laughs> They have CP come in and uh, look at the screen, be like, tell us what's going to happen at the end of the show. (laughs) (laughs) Introduce him. Boom, ba doom, ba doom, boom, ba doom, ba doom. (laughs) Take CP to the liquor store and have him look at all the lottery tickets. Like, which one is the winner? Point it out. (laughs) Oh, that one. I never get two 17s. Bob, Bob will go back in there with the kids. Like, oh, we got some big tippers in there tonight. They in there going crazy. Hey, it's that your money crazy. Get, don't let I it make you. you. <laughs> you said, <laughs> <laughs> we got some tippers out there tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, nothing. Hey, oh the, man. <laughs> it's it's money you. upstairs. <laughs> money. <laughs> All right, I quit, man. I'm sorry, man. I just, you know. I, I'm, I'm still laughing going, at me saying that the got, old nigga that told you watch the radio was probably the dumbest nigga his age. You say what? We, we gotta, we gotta, I was, like, I was gonna keep going, but we gotta close out so we can get to this next topic. So, what we going oh, with? Man. What was the topic? Uh, the onion. Onion or onion, onion like an apple or never have cheese again. Listen, I just wanna say this. I, I ate that applesauce to chase the onion flavor away and it did not work. So, the, I'm just, I'm telling you, the onion apple thing is not, it's not gonna happen. No. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm with that. No cheese. I'm just gonna have to do. No oh cheese. yeah, I'm, I'm I'm giving up cheese, bro. Yeah, I'm I ain't gonna lie to cheese. you. I'm I'm gonna have to give up cheese eventually, anyway, as a black man at some point. So I guess, yeah, yeah you know, I'm already yeah. giving up cheese now. So yeah, but uh, I'm gonna be mad as fuck at onions. Every time I see it, I'm like, man, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Flags and cheese has it on that one. We are gonna jump into the last and final topic right after this. Hey, my business is off to a great start this year, but it's not going to get any less crazy. Online shopping isn't slowing down anytime soon, and your business is ready to keep up with the pace. With ShipStation, you'll never worry about shipping again. Make the switch to a solution that handles all your shipping needs quickly, affordably, and painlessly. ShipStation is already trusted by over 100,000 e-commerce sellers. Keep track of orders from any sales channel, easily find the best shipping carriers with deeply discounted rates, automate just about any shipping task with just a few clicks. I absolutely love ShipStation. It is so easy to use and I save tons of money. They have made life absolutely easy for me for the shipping. They take care of all that stuff for me. I can just focus on my business. Look, you can save time by funneling all your orders into one simple interface, no matter where you're selling. Manage every order, Amazon, eBay, Etsy, or your own website from anywhere, even on your phone. No more headaches from dealing with returns and return tracking. ShipStation makes it easy. Save money when you compare carrier options and choose the best shipping solution every time. ShipStation works with every carrier, so you can always, always find the best fit for you. Your business can access the same discounted rates usually reserved for Fortune 500 companies. Save your sanity knowing your orders are handled and you're getting the best rates. Make shipping the easiest part of having an online store. You have bigger ideas to think about. No wonder 98% of companies that use ShipStation for a year keep using it for as long as they're in business. Ship more and less time with ShipStation. Use my offer code SQUAD to get a 60-day free trial. That's two months free of no hassle, stress-free shipping. Just go to ShipStation.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and type in SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D-D, ShipStation. 
make ship happen. Last topic of the day we have, would you rather be able to time travel or be in two places at once? Well, if you time travel, it isn't that kind of being two places at once. No, no you're uh, we out of this. A different. Now, uh, if I talk, if I leave here and be like, I'm gonna come back at two seconds, and it's kind of like in the past. Oh, you are, yeah, right. but you're in the past. It's two places right. at once, and uh, it's not intentional, it's Lulu. Imagine right. being able to be at work and at the club, enjoying both, being able to be conscious in both, and being able to, you know, what I'm saying like well, one of them's different. not you. Right. Uh, yeah, so I'm not even experiencing it. So what if I'll be able to go to work and then time travel? With time travel, you're not supposed to interact with your former self. I'm, if it's two of I'm you, not. I was never there. Uh, hold on. Hold on. If it's two of you, it's kind of like it's kind of like uh, what's the movie? Prestige? Where it was, it was it, they were switching lives, right? So one day he would be the magician, the other day the other guy would be the bodyguard. And vice versa. So you would be switching. Y'all both of wear each other. Y'all both on the same timeline. You can get more done. If you're time traveling, you can go back in time, try to change some stuff, but you're not supposed to interact with your former self because that'll mess up the time space. That's the thing. Anyway. I'm not interacting with my former self. If all y'all went out to a party, but I had to go to work, right? And I went to work, but then I time traveled back to the start time of the party. I was never there, but now I'm there. So well, I no, never interact with my former But then self. You, you're gonna miss you're gonna miss work when you I go back. I did that already. But when you go back in time, you're wait. Going let's to... establish the rules first because we're right. talking well, about. Well, you sound fake. like that old man who told us that you can watch the radio. We we're, we're we're talking about something that's fake and trying to add logic to it, and it really depends on what ridiculous movie you're watching. It's there's either time travel where you go back and you're not there and it's just you, or there's yeah. one that there's another you at. I'm going off of Back to the Future 2's uh, theories. And that's the most perfect theory. So here's the thing, <laughs> right? If you, so if you go back and send yourself, so like, okay, like you send yourself to work, right? Let's say Marty McFly goes to work. Then you go back and then you go to the party, but your other Marty McFly went to work. That would create two different, different scenarios. Line. It's going to give me a different line. timeline. Right. My bad. My bad. Never mind. It would though. Because we would have memories of you at the party with us, and then your work would be like, but you got to check for that day. You know what I'm saying? Like, what yeah. the fuck? It's two different timelines. My bad. Yeah. You yeah. right. Yeah, because in one in one timeline, you get fired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, and in the other timeline, you just get fried. <laughs> and on top of, y'all are forgetting, when you do time travel, you could go back, like, way before you were even born, not just when you were alive. I don't know if I'd do that, though. Yeah, that's well, that. I would, I would go tricky. back to nigga when motherfuckers were paying motherfuckers in pure gold. Grab me a couple bags of gold, bring that shit back. Yeah, buried it in my backyard. And one day it was like, I was, be like, I'm nigga, I'm get I'm over here. We caught you over here trying. I was about to, to say, you're still black. Why are y'all yeah. acting yeah. like the beginning of blackness was like slavery? I would go yeah. back to like the land of Kush, like back all the way BC, yeah, Africa. You, like you ain't go to the to African. Yeah, they gonna have this big fat nigga in clothes. Come you know, and take gold. Know we know slavery no, wasn't the beginning here? of our history. We yeah, had also, had kingdoms. I also oh, don't remember man. the exact year. So what if I go back and I'm the year that the slave ships came? Why like, can't yeah, you just, look just that up to... before you leave, Pat? Why would I go <laughs> somewhere to where if my phone get on 35% and I'm looking around, looking around, it's nothing. Why would you stay that long to where your phone is going to be? If you know your phone's on 35% as soon as you get that, put that bitch in low power mode. Or turn it off. Who the fuck you got to call to 150 years in the past? Hello, I'm past. texting the future to tell them to turn the machine back on and get me the fuck out of here. There are no towers in the past that even no work. Fam, obviously you would, you we would have have don't like, work. You would have to have like that little thing that Stewie has. Like Stewie has a little... The little yeah. step on thing, you step the on man, to to you, to to have a you would need to have like something to take you back. You would, I would just bring my phone to take pictures and shit. But then that gets tricky because if somebody see you taking pictures and you on regular ass clothes, you you're exposed, man. Now you gotta go find clothes from the past. Now I just wear clothes, my nigga. To steal some gold. No, no matter the time, cloaks were always acceptable. You just be like, I'm not from here. You really? Just, you wear clothes. Really? You gonna come up with a girls are drug sweater on and be like, I we would got have this a cloak. I would have on a black robe, a full black robe, and the hood and all that shit. Now you look like death. Now you look <laughs> like death. Some niggas ain't gonna fuck with you. You look like death, though. 
But he's in 1960. Everybody's like, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> we have jeans on. <laughs> What if you go back? <laughs> what if you go back to a time where it was like illegal to be clever, like everything was the witch to them, and you go back yeah, and you can be all cool? <laughs> What's up, my man? Got a plan? What did you say? <laughs> no, no, no. Say it again. What did you say? A man with a plan. String him up. <laughs> He's a witch. He's a witch. He had bars. I would, I would love to go back and fuck with people in the back though, like when they got the. You gotta load that bitch with the with the gunpowder. You just take a, a, a Glock a back there. You want a dump. musket? <laughs> no, no I'm not saying, but you take a gun from now back then and just throw a busting on niggas and a lighter. Like, I set this old bitch on fire with one flick of my thumb. Say they I probably wouldn't believe it. They'd probably be like, what is that? That thing's too small. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Either, either time travel would never exist or I never become rich enough to come back here and save me right now, which is kind of disappointing. Every day I wake up looking for me. I'm like, damn, where am I? Like, I'm, I know I'm gonna, but I think that like, we would have went back and changed certain events. Like for example, if I had a time travel machine, I would go back and I would um, eliminate all my enemies that yeah, were enemies? Not, that got who in my way. enemies so that you would eliminate? If they didn't, if you saying, had them, you anybody who got in my that. way, I would literally clear the way out for myself. You never knowing that I did this. You enemy, CP. You what kind of life did you live? You, you wouldn't be as ruthless with your jokes. You wouldn't be so cutthroat. You wouldn't I be am so. Ruthless. You see what I'm saying? You wouldn't be so. You would be super <laughs> sensitive and shit like that. If nah, you don't want that. Huh? You wouldn't uh, be. You know what? Me? I was thinking like. I wouldn't what kill I him though. For example, like the day. Let's say it's the day that I fought a bully, right? And maybe he whipped my ass that day. Maybe I shouldn't have been roasting. I didn't know that his grandma had died. So then I would, I would, I would, I would trip him and make him hurt himself on the way to school that day. He never came. That never. You know what I'm saying? But then maybe I wouldn't be me. That would have been right. the, that, that could have been the start of your first roast day, and right. and, it, and you wouldn't even never had Bro, that. I roast think about in that so so much, like going back in time and not getting shot or not getting whatever, right? But those instances made you who you are. They created yeah. the perseverance, they created the drive, they created the stories or whatever you made a need may have needed at that moment to get to where you are right now. Can you imagine where you would be if everything in your life went right? Would you even have left Detroit? Let me ask you a question to hear. What if back when you worked at the Franco factory and they Boy, gave you all- shut the fuck up. I'm saying, <laughs> they gave you all the orientation, like do not take the mask off because these things are permanent. And you was in there not listening, being cool. And then you hear you get on the line and then the hot freckles come down the machine and you take the mask off, like, what happened? And then would you go back? Because everybody loves you now for the- all right, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. You got, okay, you, I got stayed, a you stayed in With, the humor line just uh, just a minute too long and then okay. you stay in the eyelid line long enough. So that's why you can't close your eyes fully and you look like the WB frog. But that yeah, ain't nobody nah. fault but your own. Cause you was trying to, you was trying to do too much. You trying to be funny. I should have, I should have hopped in the height lane, huh? You was over there in the back line talking <laughs> when they were giving out all the backs. And you know, so you was over there talking to me. I was trying to holler at with all the backs. <laughs> Don't put me in here. I was trying to holler at a chick. I was trying to holler at a chick and mess around and got the wrong line. I got in the yeah. ass line. Yeah. And, and hit over there. You got ass and yeah. hit. Yeah. yeah. You over there in the goddamn tramp stamp section <laughs> reading books. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I got a question though. With the uh being two places at one time, yeah. do I have memories? from being in both places? Yes. yes. I think you should have one central consciousness. I think that's important in this because if I got to be two places at one time, I got to enjoy the, the fact that I'm in both places. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that yeah. part. Like kind that. of like Grand Theft Auto where you can just switch yes. person to person. Yeah. But there's yeah, be good parts, right? Like you go, if, if you go to work, you sit on your computer and log in. You don't need to be there for that. Fuck that. Get oh, me like out of here. There's a new movie on Netflix called The Adam Project. And the guy was like, once you, he time traveled, but he said, once, you know, you go back to your time, then your, uh, what you did back in the past, like for that, it reconciles in your mind. So like, basically you're, it's the same consciousness. Like you'll, you'll remember all the stuff. Amazing. I could be sucking some dick and get some jobs done. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Which one would you be there for? 
I mean, you don't really, you don't need two people for that one. You can just be sucking dick on two. Like focus. Lulu, focus. Lulu is an American that hero. Could be for more your than job, one Lulu. You can... <laughs> you mean just sucking dick on Twitch with your camera off? What are you just saying? Right. Man? Yeah, that could you could make uh, money. I gotta focus. I like to be you know focus on what I'm doing, get the job done. I don't need no distractions. But you know, that script gotta get written. So if the other me could write the script and the other me sucking dick, that'd be great. <laughs> I got a good ass win on uh, Warzone the other day, man. Speaking of Twitch, man, I mean, I <laughs> toughed it out. Eight kills and you know, I caught this nigga running through the smoke. You know how you hear him coughing? I was uh, like, well, 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 here I am with full health. Nigga, I was, it's like, yeah, yeah. I, I let loose on his ass. Now you imagine know. you doing that, and the same time the other version of you is getting some head, and hey, you combine man, you both of those at the same time, yeah. that same oh, experience, man. like a free ride. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Damn, that sounds fun. Yeah. I don't know. I feel yeah. like I want to use my powers for good and go back in time and like stop slavery. Like everybody that we wouldn't be here, would beat you be. but, that, but that's okay. But that's what I'm saying. That's okay because we was not supposed to be here anyway. We were supposed to be in Africa. Everybody thinks we would be Wakanda, but you don't know that. You do hey, not know that. But you don't hey, know that we on. wouldn't. Pat, to hear, can y'all imagine me going back there and trying to insult them slave masters and them just jumping her? You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are really messed up. You know that? Y'all need to really stop this. <laughs> That's the thing. Everybody who says they time travels think they could just like, I'm going to stop the Holocaust or I'm going to stop slavery. It's you like, could, yeah. but I'm saying if it's certain things you could prevent from happening if you talk to the right people. You just don't know who you're supposed to talk to or what right. you're supposed to talk all to. You to I really, the re reality, all you got to do is knock out like three or four key players right before some shit goes down because those are the people that's going to give the go ahead on it. So if so, you knocked out those people, like... So would you kill Hitler as a baby? But that's what I'm saying. Wow. It had not happened. So that means that time travel will never exist. Because if it exists, even in the in the far, far distant future, they got to come back and fix some stuff. And there's nothing is fixed. We haven't gotten there yet. That's why. But it don't matter it's because always it's always there. It's always there. Aha. Damn, but, I thought however, Elon Musk would have did this already, man. But, but that's what I'm saying. Though. Like they got like airplanes and spaceships on the hieroglyphics, which means it's like, oh, did we? And they're but just not telling if us. If we did, there would be really, really strict rules to make sure that we didn't know. Because if they, if if that, if those weren't the rules, it'd be like the next tomorrow, every the whole city would be different. We'd be like, what the hell? And then yeah. you know what I mean? Like they probably have to do the whole butterfly effect thing where they can't affect anything. Well, and that's where they have the Mandela effect where you be that's like- what I'm saying. That's, I think that, that's what the Mandela effect is. When you really think yep. about it, right? Mm -hmm. Like, like there is such, it's like a small, almost a centimeter of a chance and that switches everything around. Like so who went back to change head. Pikachu's tail? Like the, the things that were changed is dumb <laughs> as hell. <laughs> or Bernstein bears or Berenstain yeah. or whatever. Like, why why you, go back. That's what y'all changed? Magic mirror Sexy. on the wall. Like, come on, man. Don't, don't talk to me like I wasn't there. Magic mirror on the wall. Unless that's just y'all 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 hear the one about bucket list. What? That bucket list wasn't created. That term wasn't created until the movie came out in like 2008. And then the, the the guy that wrote the movie was originally calling it things to do before I kick the bucket. Uh, but then oh, he shot it to bucket list. And that term supposedly was never coined or used before like 2008, whenever that movie came out, was 2008, 2011. Wow. I, I mean, I believe that, but I wasn't, I wasn't that alive before yeah. that. And I wasn't talking about what I should I did do. not give a fuck about dying in 2008. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I thought about dying before that when I was in the military, but we didn't have no bucket list. It was just like, shit I want to do before I die. That's a, that's a bucket list. Oh yeah, but we didn't call it a bucket list. Did y'all talk about it? Uh, no, nah, because we thought we was gonna die anyway. So we were just like, fuck it, we can't do nothing. Hey, dark. Right. That's a cold, that's a cold way to wake up. Like, man, I sure hope I make it to dinner tonight. That's and that's, and that's, that's real. real. They, blew, they, they blew up our char hall where we eat at. So there was no lunch that day. That. That's, that's grounds for war. They thought right. y'all was in there? No, they, we were in there. The 22 soldiers died. Damn. Yep. One of my friends died, O'Brien. He was 19 years old. What was this, Afghanistan? Iraq. Where were you? I was on a mission chasing dicks. Thank God. 
Um, Wait, like, like an official U.S. mission or like your personal mission? Personal. <laughs> oh my gosh, man. They was like, do you want to go here today? And I was like, I was fucking with this dude. And I was like, nah, I don't want to drive today. They was like, you sure? And I was like, nah, I don't want to go. And I was kicking it with him. And same day, I was supposed to be there. Horniness saved your life. I, see, I, I was say I would always be laid by my vagina if that saved me in that instance. That's crazy. Hey, never let me down. Because what like, happened was, was right where I would be at, right where I was chilling with all my homies, uh, prime time, lunch time. Yeah, it was on the news and everything. My mom thought I was dead for two weeks. What? Yeah, because we can't communicate with the outside world when shit like that happened. So we had to like no communication, no because there's there's people that died, and if I was to be like, yo, such and such people died, and they didn't contact their family yet, that's yeah. complete violation. That's so they shut Dang, all communication that makes sense. down. Let me ask Who's you on question. CNN and all types of shit. It was crazy. Wait, Lulu, let me ask you a question. Just from you being in war, what are you looking at this Ukraine shit like? <laughs> it's gonna get crazy. For yeah, real, it's gonna get and crazy. let's just leave it at that right there because none of us are right. specialists right now. Want to right. think? Uh, actually, we didn't put it to a vote. What are we doing? Time travel or two people at once? Two places. Two places, two places at once. Two places at one. Two people. Two places at, at once. Sure. Two places at once. Two places at once. Two places at once. Uh, I go. I I might still do time travel. I'm not even gonna hold you. I don't even got to change them. I just kind of want to see some shit happen. But so, uh, just want to teach yourself how to talk clearly back. Nigga, in the I want to. I want to go back and see how the pyramids were made. I still want to see. I want to. I want to be there. I no, be you, that you need number. to go teach yourself some grammar. I like the mystery of that. I wouldn't want to go back and see them just doing it by hand. Like what? It's like, oh, there's no mystery in that. I don't think they did it by hand. I don't think they did it by hand. I just feel like there's no place for you to hide to watch that. So you're going to be exposed. And they go to I would just, I would dress like how they dress. I would go at night. No, none of them had hips. Hips weren't even invented yet. One, no freckles. freckles are new. Hey, we don't think Lulu Gonzalez will stop and fight by <laughs> real quick. Uh, shout out to Pat Cloud, uh, Mega Scoop, oh. and uh, CP for coming through for the Feel You the Child Save Life Foundation. Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, CP. Next what up, we can't get collections what? for for braces for CP so we can close that gap up. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been <laughs> oh, another episode of Squadcast Versus. We'll see you and next week. And he's ending it. Bye. What <laughs> if, because to hear one back in time, that's how we have hips. <laughs> <laughs> Hipspiracy. Eve was like, what are those?